All right, everyone, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Dungeons. This is part two to our first run through of uh, the Hidden Depths DLC. So if you did not catch part one, highly recommend it. going back and checking it out. See what we have done thus far. <clears throat> it has been extremely interesting. Um, again, I'll do a little recap. So with the Hidden Depths DLC, there's a new dynamic to the game. Obviously, we are now in the ocean. We're underwater. So here at the bottom, we do have not only our health meter, but we also have an oxygen meter. And it will go down if we, are, if we don't get enough oxygen. That's why we need to go to these bubble areas that have some oxygen flowing out of them to replenish that. Um, other than that, there are new mobs. There's a bunch of secrets for us to find. As you can see, pulling up the map here, we've only found 14 of 24 secrets. We found all of the normal chests, which is good to, to know. But there are still a whole heck of a lot of secrets to find. Um, and new mobs, like I said, new gear, new armor, and new enchantments. One of the new ones that we've already gotten here on um, not this guard's armor. I'm actually going to get rid of that one. I'm actually going to get rid of some of these katanas as well. Lots of katana drops, I'm noticing. Um, which isn't necessarily bad, but a rapid crossbow with infinity on it. This is actually kind of looking interesting. I kind of want to ch check this one out. We could do multi-shot. Yeah, multi-shot with infinity. And what if I put rapid f or piercing? I put piercing on it. That would be super interesting. Okay, I'm getting distracted. Um, but we did get this guard's armor that has luck of the sea on it. Um, which you can kind of just see here. Increases your luck with the boosts which boosts the chance of a rare drop becoming unique which a 30 percent increase on it is not that bad but anyways we have progressed a decent amount of way through the map here and we are going to continue on the main path with part two here so obviously i am recording this right after part one so i don't know if you guys have left um you know any feedback uh, i should have waited i didn't wait long enough uh, but yeah i don't know if you guys have left any feedback on that um, but I do hope you are enjoying. All right, we got another guard's armor here. Lots of guard's armor as well. This one is Luck of the Sea as well. Um, but this one has three enchantment slots where this one only has two. So we're going to nix that one out. Even though it was a rare item, um, I think it's it's fine that we nix that one out. We do have a, a throne here of sorts, which is pretty cool. Now, with all the secrets, as I did mention in the first part of this... Um, you're really going to want to do a full explore of everything. Check every nook and cranny and uh, see what pops up. Because you never know when you could run into a secret. Alright. And that is what I'm doing. That's what we're spending a good amount of our time going through and looking for is secrets. Now we have a big area here with something in the middle that looks very, very interesting. Um, but I am going to just check the corners real quick. Get a lay of the land because obviously... You guys already know this is going to be a big fight. You already know that we get into this area here and uh, it's all the doorways have potential gates on them. So this is going to be a big fight. All right. Let's hop into here. Get some fresh air. And then let's check this last corner just to be safe. Doesn't seem like there's any secrets here. Again, though, good to check. All right, I'm going to place down our totem of healing so we can heal up real quick. And then we're going to click on this. And we activated something. Something is definitely going down. What do we got? What kind of baddies do we have? Nothing too bad right off the bat, I would say. They are very spread out, which it makes it a little bit unfortunate for us. I would like to have them a little bit closer together so we can easily focus all of our attention on a singular space. Um, but that item did drop. What is this? Oh. Whoa. Okay. So that actually gives us a circle of air. But we have to throw it down. Ah, it takes up our arrow slot. But we can bring it with us, which is pretty cool. Okay. That is a really cool dynamic. We do have a drowned necromancer somewhere around here. And I did not mean to throw that. I wanted to pick this up so we could get kind of close over here. And uh, hopefully get some good damage on this guy. I am going to reiterate, and I said this in the first episode. The exploding crossbow is the hidden gem 
of this DLC because of how the dynamic of arrows works. Pretty much they float a little bit. Ooh, it's called a conduit, which is really cool. Creates a sphere of oxygenated water projecting players from drowning. But pretty much how the arrow uh, physics work in this DLC, they kind of float a little bit. So even if you don't hit, oh, we died, okay. I wasn't really paying attention. I was trying to talk and, and, and play at the same time, which it never works out for me. Uh, but we did get that guy taken out, so. But uh, since they float and kind of hang in midair, if you have exploding ones, even if you don't hit your target, they'll float there and then explode, doing some kind of residual damage to them, which is really nice. It's a really, again, a really hidden gem of this. All right, that was the last one. Let's take a look. So that was, um, we came from that direction, right? Yeah, we came from that direction. I'm going to grab this. We need to go that direction. I'm just going to throw this right here for the time being. Because I don't know if there's going to be... There is some air here. Okay, cool. And we're going to have another fight on our hands. Yeah, this thing just does some awesome, awesome damage. I highly would recommend an exploding crossbow of sorts um, if you're playing through this. We did get the Bubble Burster! There we go. This is our first legendary or you very yeah, I think legendary item. All right, we have another drowned necromancer, of course. Get this guy taken out. All right, we do have our rocket, our our uh, firework arrow, and as you can see there, it actually got hung up on the side of that cliff there. But it still eventually exploded doing damage, which is awesome. Okay, do we have anyone else around here? Nope, just the chest. We'll grab that fish, it'll give us a little bit of oxygen. We did get some turtle armor, and we're gonna check this side over here um, to see if there's anything, any secrets lying about in the, this section. Yep, and there we go. That's why you do the full explore. All right, let's take a peek at what we have picked up. So we got some Fisticuts, a.k.a. Gauntlets. Not a big fan of them. Turtle armor, which is pretty cool, but it's nothing too special. This is actually some pretty nice turtle armor, and it caters a lot towards our um, build that we currently have. But I'm going to get rid of it. We don't really need it. This Rapid Fire Crossbow, we're going to hold on to it. Same with that stuff. But we did get the Bubble Burster. Which looks really cool, but it does not have infinity on it, which is one of the main things that I want to have on all of my bows, is infinity. Because without infinity, it's just, you run out of arrows so easily, or it's, it, it tends to happen a lot. So, um, Bubble Burster creates a chain effect of bubble trouble for your enemies. It does look pretty cool, and I'm interested enough to test it out, so we're definitely going to test it out. I am also going to grab this and bring it with us. All right, onwards we go. So we've already, we came from this direction. We explored over there. We explored all of that. This is our next direction to go. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of the, the bubble burster here, to be completely honest with you. I mean, it's cool. And maybe I'm just not fully understanding the dynamics of the, um... Of its functionality but I really like the exploding one like it just I mean it it does so much damage and especially here like where they hang in midair like I've been saying it's it's the best dynamic to have for it all right we're gonna want again check around and see if there's any hidden chests um, and I'm gonna bring this with me obviously why wouldn't I bring this with me this thing is the best all right we've pretty much looked through all of this area nothing much to find no secret chests at least that i'm noticing so let's keep moving on we did get a swiftness potion which is awesome all right get this guy out get a totem down oh Oh, yes. Yeah, the um, 
guys exploding arrow 110 percent this is what you guys need if you're playing through this dlc like there's nothing like the damage that it does is just incredible and the way that it does it it just pulls it off in such an awesome manner all right how we doing we doing all right i think we're doing pretty fun we did find another secret here hidden under this little covering we did get some more fisticuffs <clears throat> again not a big fan of them i feel like they have their place don't get me wrong but um just never have used them all right let's go this direction for the time being we did get another coral blade and we do have another secret again guys why you gotta look everywhere? All right, coral or uh, katana. Actually, not a bad katana, I would say, but n not really what we're we're looking for here. So we're gonna get rid of all of those, and we are up to 20 of 25 secrets now, which is quite interesting that there's 25 secrets. All right, cross the whatever that said, the precip precipice. The one thing that I don't like about that is that it does take up your arrow slot. So um, it does get a little bit confusing when you're trying to take stuff out. Okay, focus all time high, get back into this. We did get the trident so we could test this out. I mean, the trident's kind of cool, I guess. Alright, do we have any secrets back here? Secret, secret, secret. No secrets. Can we go over there? <clears throat> I don't know. Can we? I guess not. Huh. Ah. Uh, well, it's good to know, right? Okay, and then we can go straight forward. That's another way for us to go. I'll bring this with us. It looks like we can get over there somehow. So we're definitely going to take that into consideration. Um, I think we can just go like so. We'll make our way over to this. And I literally... Oh my god, I threw that thing off the side. Okay, we did get a katana. Let's step on these. These are pretty cool. These are like clams almost. Um... Clams that kind of bump you up into different areas. So, alright, I think we're pretty much good. Solid. No additional secrets anywhere through there. And then, I think we can use this to get back. Which is pretty cool. Oh, and I went too far. Off the side we go. It happens, man. It happens. Alright. Let's, uh, let's get back over there. It'd be cool if I could roll midair. But it doesn't let you do that. I'm trying to, like, whirl or a.k.a. roll. And it's not letting me do that. Okay. Take a look at our map here. We're still doing pretty good, I would say. Still doing pretty good. And it's also funny because you can knock enemies off the side. And they pretty much will just instantly die. And if you roll off the side, obviously... I'm glad that that doesn't affect you, and it doesn't affect your lives, right? I'm glad that it's really just a, um... I'm glad that it's really just, uh, you know, it puts you back. It doesn't take up a life, because we would be completely out by now. We'd be totally out of lives, nothing left. So, alright, keep on moving forward. keep picking this thing up and placing it down which is not what I'm meaning to do it just gets very confusing when you're trying to fight enemies okay how are we doing on our exploration okay so we can go up this way 
which we'll do. I'll leave. I'll leave that down there. And we'll explore up here. Any secrets? Secret, secret, secrets. Nothing thus far, right? But well, that's where we need to go. I wonder if you can just cut over there. Probably not. Ooh, there looks to be something down there, though. You see that? There is. We did get a what? rapid crossbow. Another one. Another one. Um, with nothing too crazy on it, to be completely honest. So we're going to get rid of that. We're also going to get rid of this katana. And we're going to get rid of that as well. I did not put myself in a place that was close enough to oxygen, which is fine. And we'll just float right back on over here, which is perfect. I'm going to grab our conduit, and we're going to continue on the main path here. Onwards we go, brethren. Okay, secrets. We're looking for secrets. Any secrets around here? Oh, I know now that there's an easy way to get over here. And there doesn't really seem to be much around here. How many are we missing? Three secrets are left. I can guarantee we'll probably miss at least one. At least one. Okay. But we're making good time, I would say. We are making our way through here. Um, it doesn't really look like that goes off into anywhere, so we're not going to even attempt to that. Um, we do have that down there. Do we want to go there first? Probably, because it looks like it loops around. What is down here? Okay, we have a gate there. A bunch of ground, which is really cool. It's like a pirate ship, right? All right, we can click the button. We have clicked a button. The concentration, again, we get into these battles and I'm just full on focused. Alright, um, we got one guy left. Cool little rolling shot there, and we got him taken out. We're gonna have more guys here to take out as well. Not too bad. Okay, let's leave that there. Let's see, what do we have up here? Anything cool? Secrets. I don't know what that is. How do we get up to that? I uh, like that and then I think oh we could just hit this. I'm an idiot. There we go. Press the button. And then we're gonna have another fight on our hands. From this direction. It was so far so good though. Not too bad. I'm waiting for the drowned necromancer to come up because I know that's gonna happen We've already fought him quite a few times, but there's probably gonna be more All right Got some more turtle armor And we had our uh, firework arrows for quite some time there, actually. And there we go. Okay, so we have made it through that. Let's see, what do we have up here? Goodies? Chests? Yes. Worthwhile. There is a chest here. And, eh, I mean, okay. I guess maybe not super worthwhile, but um, decent enough, I guess. We did get some armor out of it. Um, but I kind of was expecting to find, like, maybe a secret location or something, but I'm not noticing one, right? Like, typically you can find a secret location, and uh, we have not come across one just yet. But there's still time left, right? We could still potentially run into something. Alright, what do we have here? R random little, like, bump up there. This is cool. Defeat the Drowned! is our new mission. Alright, I'm gonna throw that there. Because obviously I already know we're gonna have a lot of these guys. Alright, I really just need to throw that and leave it. Because it really messes up my arrows. Alright. 
All right. Bad guy? Question mark? We're gonna get a bad guy sometime? Like a big baddie? All right, still doing fine. All right, I wasted that firework arrow, but whatever, I guess. And we're good. That was it. All right. So we'll pick that up. Um, anything around here doesn't look like it, so I'm not noticing anything. I mean, I don't know how much time we want to spend around each side. I guess I'll at least come up on this end and see if there's anything. I I'm, I'm can guarantee that we're probably missing something. Like I said, <clears throat> there's at least one or two that we will overall miss. It's just how it is, unfortunately. Because you can only do so much. All right. So now we have entered into the abyss. We are now in. We're still carrying this thing with us, which is pretty sick. All right, what do we got around here? Anything interesting? This is probably where we'll hit a, a fight soon. We did get another secret chest there, so we're only missing two, technically. So um, there's still a chance that we'll maybe find one more at least. Um, if we find both of them, that would be amazing, but uh, I'm not getting my hopes too high, because you never know. Whoa, okay. What is the... What did... What? Uh-oh. Big boss, Elder Guardian! Whoa, Nelly. All right. This guy does a lot of damage. Can I hide from him? I can, I think. Yeah, it won't get me through this, which is nice. Okay. I need I need oxygen though. Yeah, these exploding arrows are the bee's knees, man. The bee's knees. All right. Get in there, Iron Golem. We need you. Elder Guardian. And he is donezoed, boys. No drop, though. No drop. I am extremely surprised that there was not a drop from that. Um, is there any secrets? Like, are we missing anything? Like, I'm very confused um, as to why there was nothing from that. I was expecting at least, you know something right like oh he dropped a you know stack of arrows or something um, but quite literally we got nothing from him I'm just gonna do a once over just to make sure like that we're not missing anything but it doesn't look to be the case so all right guys well inwards we go enter the abandoned ship that is our next move here and that's gonna be a W beyond the bright reefs and dark trenches a mysterious monument is shrouded in the darkness of the deepest depths. Well, there we go, guys. Mission one done. First map of the Minecraft Dungeon DLC, Hidden Depths, is under our belt. I think it was pretty fun. A really cool new dynamic to it. Um, we did defeat 725 enemies. I think that's new. I don't recall that being there before. Um, so that's awesome. Or it's been there before and I've just been oblivious to it. We did get the Harpoon Quiver, which is cool because I think it'll be a little bit quicker when we're under wa water with it. So if we really wanted to, we could utilize those. Um, I am going to get rid of some of this stuff that we just really don't need on us. Um, I think that'll be get fine. Let's check out the Merchant. Because now that we have the DLC installed, sometimes some of those items will pop up in here. Nothing too crazy, though, I would say. Um, let's restock and see if we get anything different. Obviously, it'll only I think it only pops up with stuff that you have discovered. So We do have a diamond sword with extra damage on it. This is pretty interesting. It does look like it actually has a new enchant on it that I've not seen before. So I'm kind of half, half tempted to grab it just to see what it is. Um, but it does do extra damage. Let's get it. I'm curious. I'm really curious on what that additional uh, enchantment is. What is this? Guarding Strike. When you defeat a mob, you are given a temporary shield that reduces damage 
by 50%. That's pretty cool. I do believe that is a new one. I wish it would tell you, like, in the corner, like, hey, this is from, you know, this DLC, this is from this update, whatever it may be. That would be really nice to have. But, you know what, it is what it is. It, it, it's nice, but it doesn't cater towards our our um, our build, unfortunately. Um, but I was more so just curious on that additional enchantment there. Let's take a peek at our blacksmith. So things are moving along with both of those items. Um, and then let's head back over to the island realms here. So there is still items that we can find here that we did not find. There are two in, um, rewards that we could potentially get from this. So we'll definitely have to fight through that again. There is a uh, daily missions there. There is a secret mission there, which I don't know if we unlock the secret mission in the Coral Rise or in the Abysmal Monument. I really don't know. Um, I, I'm hoping that... Uh, I'm guessing it's in the Coral Rise. I'm guessing we missed it somewhere in that. So we'll definitely be playing through Coral Rise again to find that secret location. Um, but guys, with that being said, we are going to wrap up the episode there. So I hope you all did enjoy. If you did, feel free to leave a like down below. It lets me know that you guys are enjoying this series. You're enjoying these episodes. If you are new here and you do want to follow along, definitely hit that subscribe button and bell notification. I'll let you know every single time a new episode is posted here on the channel. I do stream over on Twitch. Uh, currently, our schedule is Mondays and Fridays at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you're interested in catching a live stream, the link for that is in the description down below, along with the link to the community Discord if you're interested in keeping up with everything that goes on here with the channel and with the stream as well, or just hanging out with a cool group of people. There are a bunch of people over there who enjoy Minecraft and talking about it and showing off their builds. Um, so it's a great time over there as well for that. But other than that, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today in part two. I appreciate it so very much, and I will catch you all in the next episode. Take it easy.